Hey, hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Today we're going to take a look at Audio Bus 3 and MIDI Flow. So these are the MIDI Flow apps and they work with Audio Bus 3, but they're completely separate, so you have to buy them separate, okay? So, but they're designed for Audio Bus 3. You don't need them to make Audio Bus 3 work, but they're very, very handy as you shall see. And they're, they're well worth it as well. I think they're $8.99 for all of them, or $1.99 each, because you might not need all of them. Anyway, here we go. Audio Bus 3 uh, now lets you do other things. So if you're not familiar with Audio Bus, I have a, a couple of videos on the channel. You just need to search Audio Bus uh, setting up or getting started uh, the sound test room. So the sound test room Audio Bus and you'll come up with some videos for Audio Bus and Audio Bus 2. And then you can watch them and you'll get an idea. But most people watching this will know and they'll just want to know what's different about Audio Bus 3. Uh, because it's a separate app and you have to buy it. Well, there's a lot of very cool changes. Um, for a start off, you can insert audio units uh, into your chain and then affect them as per normal with either ordinary effects or audio unit effects. Now, if I record an audio unit in, say, Cubasis, it will record MIDI data. If I record an audio unit that's in the effect in the in the chain in Audio Bus into Cubasis, it will record it as audio. Okay, so. That's just something to uh, remember. Right, so, moving on. Uh, MIDI. Now, MIDI is the big, big, massive thing here now for, for Audio Bus 3. Uh, you, has, you, will, you can do all sorts of very cool stuff like via MIDI routing. And this is where your MIDI flow apps will come in handy. Uh, so let's, for instance, say I have my MIDI USB keyboard. And I have it, like, obviously, I have it plugged in, as you can see. And then I'm going to choose an audio unit, uh, because we can use audio units now. And I'm going to choose an audio unit for that to control. So I'm going to use um, Versin's Addictive Pro. And it is. <laughs> And I'm going to choose a sound, see, see, and we can choose from sounds here. So we can have like, say, uh, yeah, that's nice. That'll do it. Uh, so, so that's cool. Now, at this point, if we go to audio, you will see that our addictor, it's been added into our chain and we can affect it. We can put whatever effect we like on it. So all three things are, are, are all joined together. And there's our mixer for, and we have a, and we can mute it and solo it if there's more, obviously, because as the more gets added, it all gets automatically added. Now, if you haven't got a MIDI keyboard plugged in and you want to be checking the volume, all you need to do is hit that little note and it will do that little arpeggio for you and, you can, and it'll be the same on everything. It'll just play it like that. And that way you can set your levels and everything without keep constantly going backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards to your MIDI keyboard. Now, here we go. We're going to add another one now. We're going to add another keyboard, another USB MIDI keyboard. And on this one, I'm going to put, uh, let's see, uh, Artoria ISEM. Wait, for Artoria to launch three hours later. So you can see it's very simple. You just add your MIDI control there, but I'll show you even further, okay? So here we have ISEM now. So we have a sound from um, Addictive and a sound from ISEM. Now we could go on and on and on, uh, depending on the power of your device and everything and all the rest of it. And now we have a nice layered. <laughs> Nice layered synth. Now, if we add a MIDI flow splitter, and we add a MIDI flow splitter to there, and then we tap on that, you'll see the audio bus now and the, the MIDI flow app is automatically routed and channeled our two synths and split them in half. So down here, the bottom half, which will be this one, is addictive, and up here.
is ISM. Now we can change the position like that. Anywhere like this. And if we had more synths added, we can add more and more and more and split them anywhere over the keyboard. So we're not limited to just two. You can add as many as you like. As many as your your iPad will deal with or whatever. Uh, on, also, it's that easy to just change them around. So say I want to, well, I want ISM down the bottom. So you just do this, right? Oh, no, I want, I want, I want one, I want, I want one of them to be across the whole keyboard, and not. And that's how you do it. It's, it's dead, dead straightforward. So that's that, basically, guys. Um, you can also add um, like a MIDI flow transposer, and that will allow you to just transpose the notes in your one. In, in your one app sort of thing so you could transpose it down midi flow scales allows you to set scales so i could uh, insert midi flow scales into there now and set scales from my my usb keyboard and would not allow me to play the wrong note because it would just drop those notes out that went in that scale but that's more useful for like uh, on-screen keyboarding and then there's the midi flow limiter which is something else again uh, so you have loads and loads of cool MIDI controller stuff. Uh, again, it just automatically routes, uh, routes through. So basically, that's how I would start with uh, start with it. Now you've got these two things going. Oh, so now I've got it down the bottom. Now, here's where it gets super cool. Super, 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 super clever. We add this now. Anything that will allow you that you have control, you will control MIDI. You can now add to in just straight in. So I get add it again there. My USB MIDI keyboard, and I could set up another synth and have it split it. But I'm going to add Fugue Machine now. Now, if anybody knows what Fugue Machine is, it's another app. Okay, it's very, very cool. It allows you to. Well, I'll quickly show you what it does. So if you find it somewhere, somewhere here. Fugue, Fugue. Oh, where is it? I don't know where it is. Right, so this is Fugue Machine. Just um, so what it is is there's four different playheads playing these MIDI notes at different speeds. And you can set the, the, the what's it and all the rest of it. Anyway, there's videos on that as well. So let's just do this. Oh, let's go. Now you see you can set each uh, a Fugue's separate playheads now. It'll launch Fugue Machine there again anyway. Since I just stupidly turned it off, I just should have left it on, shouldn't I? Oh, there you go. So do 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 do. So, there we go. So there's Playhead 1, and that, this is now, <laughs> I can now choose, now nothing will happen if I press play on Fugue, but because I need to add a synth. See how cool this is now, see how cool. So let's add, um, let's see, let's see, let's add this. Let's add a, a, a poison. And I'm not going to go on and add all four Playheads, because, you know, like I said, we'll be here all day. So let me just see what poison's doing sound wise. I don't want it to be too harsh. Um, let's see. There was a lot of quite harsh stuff in in poison, but there you go. If I press play now,
I can do now is play over the top with my other two keyboards. And then you could add another pure playhead. You could add drum machines. It's cool beans. And always, always, it's always getting added. So you can just add your ordinary audio effects now, for instance. I see. Let's add a. So it's all linked. And then you have your mixer control again, your audio dish, you can start rooting to your doors. Now, like I said, I won't go into this, but if I added Cubasis to each of the separate ones in Cubasis would each have its own separate, separate track, uh, which is also very, very, very cool and useful. So guys, there you go. There are some of the new features of Audio Bus 3. Um, you have settings here so you can see what's going on you have a help menu you can set like I said now for instance I could completely save this and then recall it at any time and it would re remember everything the MIDI stuff is super cool I think I've gone through most of it the way you split you can multiple pile up and it's just oh, it's just so clever so so very clever thank you for watching guys if you have liked the video please subscribe to the youtube channel and uh, if you can become a patreon please do because you know i i have to make a living and i'm very very poor I, you know i ain't kidding uh and not you know not mega well so anyway thank you very very much for watching and i hope you guys enjoyed this and find it um and find it quite useful you know okie dokie i'll see you guys later